Hi Mayfield, it is Thursday, June 4th, and this is the video for our weekly homework as we um, come to almost the end of our school year with um, digital learning. This week we've been talking about multiplying and dividing and adding and subtracting numbers in scientific notation in our pre-algebra classes. And there was a request that um, a student made asking for number nine to be the video this week. So this is the question for number nine. And it says, true or false, does six and two tenths times 10 to the eighth power times three and two tenths times 10 to the third power equal one and 984 thousandths times 10 to the 12th? All right, so right away to get started, I'm gonna separate my first terms. So I'm gonna multiply six and two tenths times three and two tenths. And then I'm gonna multiply that by my powers of 10. So that's 10 to the eighth times 10 to the third. And we talked about two weeks ago that when we multiply with the same base, we are allowed to add the exponents because this means 10 multiplied eight times, and this is 10 multiplied three times. So together, that's 10 multiplied 11 times. And then this is a nice review of multiplying with decimals. Two times two is four. 6 times 2 is 12, placeholder, since we're moving over one place value. 3 times 2 is 6, and 3 times 6 is 18. There's two digits behind the decimal in the problem. So after I add, there's going to be two digits behind the decimal in my answer. So right now I have 19 and 84 hundredths times 10 to the 11th power. This is a great answer. Right? It's not in scientific notation, and it's not in scientific notation because this number is greater than 10. So I need to divide it by one more power of 10. We talked about in our Google Meets this week, these little arrows might help us. If I'm gonna divide this value by another 10, then that means here I'm increasing by a power of 10 to make sure the value of the number stays the same. So it becomes 1 and 984 thousandths times 10 to the 12th power, which means the statement is true. All right. Hope that helps. If you have any questions, please email me and let me know. I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye, everybody. Thank you so much for your time.